<clears throat> Alright. Narukami Persona 4. Let's see this here. King Mufasa, have a good night, man. Uh, 5A, A, A. They increased the hitbox downward. I guess this was much more consistent to hit now. Increased startup speed. Oh, the second hit. So I'm guessing this is just a lot more consistent to hit as well. With the startup speed. Or you can, like... I guess you can, like, try to frame trap them. Wait a minute, that's not it. That's freaking Naruka. That's freaking Yosuke. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Five standing P. This is that. Nice. Cross slash. All right, they made it a lot more consistent. And they changed that. That's about it. That's it. That's all Narukami. I was reading to the Yosuke changes. Poor Yosuke being left behind. This is... This is... <laughs> extended hitbox downward. Which means that I don't think you can low profile this. Or... I don't even know if you can low profile this. Or maybe... Like it didn't hit consistently. I guess now it hits consistently. Uh, this... The... Wow. That got a lot faster. Tentarufu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, that definitely got a lot faster. Dodge, change the, the behavior of the attack on successful counter. Enlarge the hitbox on counter attack. Okay. Let me take a look here. Let me take a look. What better way to do it than to test it on, Ruby? Okay. Oh, wow, Jiraiya freaking kicks your ass. Boom! Wait, did he always do that in this game? And BB Tag is new. Yeah, it's, uh, Jiraiya didn't used to kick you in the ass, right? It was just Yosuke. Okay. Um, they increase 6 P's travel distance. Goes full screen now. Jesus Christ. All right, sounds good. So you can probably do some cool combos with that. Bam, full screen 6 P now. Nice. Chia's turn. All right, Chia got buffed, like, a lot. So, let's take a look at her normals. Oh, the only nerf that they gave her is that her block string, her crazy block string, got nerfed. Now, she can only do that twice. So, she used to be able to do this crazy block string. It was practically an infinite gapless. Um, where she would go, uh, 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 uh. Just go crazy like that, like nuts. And I think she used to do it like a lot, but now they reduced it down to only twice. After the second time, she can't do anything more. Increase the blowback, so they, they go back farther. However, 5BB, they extended the hitbox forward, which makes kind of correlates with that. And they also increased the distance on Skullcracker and Rampage. Whatever the hell. Grounded Rampage. This goes farther if you um, you press forward. So that's regular. That's regular. And if you press forward, she goes like a million freaking... Runs the mile in the air. Uh, so there's that. And then Skullcracker. Increase frame advantage. Increase the blowback. So can you combo this in the corner? Ooh, probably. Wow, you can combo off that now. That's pretty good. Um, dragon Kick. They just increase the damage of Dragon Kick. Makes it more do more damage. Increase the damage there. Off the follow-up. And EX Dragon Kick too. Wow, I think... Whoa, look at that damage! Oh, That is some buff damage! Wow! Come on, Yosuke. Don't be useless. Woo! Damn, boy! She does damage now. Dragon Kick. Herculean Strike. Increase the frame advantage. Oh, dear Jesus. And it reduced the knockback. <laughs> she can definitely come off that now. Oh, my God. That's so such a good buff. All right, nice. So they, they buffed a bunch of the stuff. So it increases her combo potential. Increases her damage. And that's it. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Neutral partner skill, extended hitbox downward for Chie. So, makes it a lot more consistent to hit now, which is nice. Entrance at, after KO, partner KO. Okay, so they normalized a few things like tactics mode and her incoming on when the opponent, or when your partner is KO'd and you're coming in as Chie. All right, nice, nice. 
So, standing A, they extended the distance where uh, Sakuya transitions into an attack motion. Nice. When she goes out, the time where she can go out, or she they increase the, the, the distance where she can combo now. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can change the minimum number. It can be used in a single chain to three. Oh, I guess you can only do any three up to three times. Okay, I, I see what they mean now. It's not they can use each individually three times. It's that they can chain each one of these up to three times. Let's see. Jump B, reduce the recovery of that, which is... Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, jump B or jump C, increase the blowback and reduce the landing recovery. Nice. They can probably do some cool stuff now in terms of combos. Let's dance, Sakuya. I'm getting high, Sakuya. Join me, Sakuya. Let's smoke a bowl, Sakuya. Fourth hit increases the travel distance on that. Nice. Okay, so it goes farther now. That last hit, that last fire hit. Grounded Agi. I think it's this one, right? Is this Grounded Agi? They uh, lowered the blowback height of the first hit, okay? They extended the untech time of the first hit. I like how they should just legit smack so <laughs> bad. All right, so there's that. Uh, increase the untech time on the first hit, which is nice. Nonetheless, I'm trying to oh, I'm trying to see uh, how grounded Biagi got changed or how it can help. Untech time, you can probably find some cool stuff with uh, with that. Uh, Maragi, Maragi is two one four a. This right here. Pretty nice. Uh, increase blowback distance in height. Okay, so they, they go up higher. Change the knockdown from a normal knockdown to a rolling knockdown. What does that mean? Oh. Look at that. So there's that. All right. So they made Maragi a lot better. Flame boost. Reduce recovery. Change the number of times you can be virgin. Reduce his health to one. All right. So this is... Dang. Look at how many... So, this is instant now. Okay, so 2-2-C is instant now. Nice. I like that. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it says right here. Fire Flame Boost, which is the EX one. Reduced recovery. So, it's basically instant right now. So, the biggest attribute from this is probably Firebird. Whoa! 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 Hi, girl! Hey, girl, what's up? That's a lot of damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> Jesus! You see that damage? And she increases it every time she does a fire. Wow. Every time. That's. Whoa. Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot. So they increased the damage of uh, bo of flame boost, basically, or uh, yeah, wow, or fire boost, whatever. Just in the mo in the, the zone right now. Neutral partner skill increased the untech time, and they increased blowback on the first hit. Nice. Okay, good stuff. And then six P extended untechable time on first hit. Yukiko will now face toward the opponent when the Phoenix Flame will now be fired toward Yukiko. That's the one I don't understand. You know how she's right behind Yukiko? I guess it will face towards whoever Yukiko is to facing toward. That's probably what it means. Was that different before? For the most part. All right, Yukiko got some nice buffs, so she got some more guaranteed conversions off of her crazy stuff. Uh, 4A, 2A, pretty nice buff there too for some pressure. Even if it's minimal, it's still there. Uh, not too bad, to be honest. Um, so basically, the higher you increase your your uh, your flame level, the more damage you will do. So like, I can't even imagine. Like, let me, let me see this. So there's this. Can you double? Look at that 8K, dude. 8k I'll tell you what the Weiss Yukiko matchup is, or the Weiss Yukiko team is really good now It was good before I still think that Weiss Yukiko is a pretty good Synergy together, but now it's even better with those two characters being buffed like crazy Especially Weiss 
yeah, that's that's a pretty good team. Of course to be reckoned with. All right, Kanji. Your, your your favorite boy. Your favorite boy toy. 4A um, extended the hitbox downward, so this is a lot more consistent to hit, I guess. I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. 5A. Five, 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 Normal throw is now executable, so you can do this now. So you can do 5A, five, 5A, five, and then cancel it into BC. Bam. That's mostly to blow up push block and to just psych them out. Same thing with 4A, 4A. Same crap. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there's that. This is probably his... <sighs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. So, uh... <laughs> so you can do this. Bam. Bam. Get some mix-ups going, boy. But, all right, take it easy, Ninja. Uh, all right, yeah. So, freaking Kanji got a reverse beat from into two into five A. I mean, there we go. Nice combo. Nice combo. All right, good stuff. B Buster attack. Increase the. I think Buster attack. What is this? That right there. So increase the frame advantage means that he can combo off of this. Sorry, this the B version of the chair drop it's Like that yeah increase frame advantage on hit extended knockdown time on hit oh! huh? What? You can combo that now? What's wrong? A lot of things are wrong right now. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. She can only do it once though. All right, she can't get to level three. So you can basically increase frame advantage. This move will now result in a full knockdown. Okay, that's what that means. That's cruel attack. Pretty good damage too. Nice. There's that. All right, so Kanji got buffed overall. Kanji's really good. Kanji's very, very good now. I can't even with this character, dude. I can't. How did they buff this character? This character is super buff. All right, so first of all, 5AA extended the root of the hitbox attack upwards, which means that it makes it more consistent to hit. Probably you can hit it on characters that are uh, more aerial, I should say. So like, I guess you could do that now if, if you couldn't before. I'm not sure. 4AA, normal throw is no longer executable. Oh. This one isn't. For AAA, the third hit. The second hit you can, but the fourth hit you can't. Used to be able to, but not anymore. So there's that. Um, now, 2B is now jump cancelable on block. Why would you do this? It gives her pressure tools. Holy crap. Look at this. Look at that. Hey, I'm back. Hey, friends. Did you miss me? Let me shoot at you. All right, so basically, that's jump cancelable on block now, which is really good. Gives her more pressure options and just more options in general. Snipe. This right here. Do you have more frame advantage? So I guess they increased the frame advantage on that, I guess. I don't know. No, maybe not. Anyways. All right, nice. Good stuff. All right. Uh, this is a crazy buff. Mines. This one. So any anyway, any single one. This one, or this one, or this one, will now destroy projectiles. My turn. Mission start. Shoot it. Oh. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't destroy. 
But if you have two of them... Oh no, it just destroys all at once. Unless you set them like... Yeah, like that. Okay, so individual ones. What about the super fireball? Or like the, the mega fireball, I should say. Alright, let's see this. Bim. Go for it. <laughs> Even the mega fireball! Super fireball, there's no way. Because it's multiple hits. There's no way it can actually nullify it. What about the EX one? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. It doesn't. Super fireball is no good. Sweet, but regular project... Actually, there's one that I really want to find out if it destroys. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well. It, it, it's... Okay, that's fine. Hides fireball is still super mega buff. This is the biggest buff. How the hell did you increase the startup of this move? Hamon Mudon changed the amount of skill gauge it gives to the opponent upon hit to zero. So literally, this doesn't give you any meter. If you get hit by it, too bad. You just lost the character. It doesn't even matter. It used to give you meter. As a like, sorry, I just killed your character, uh, your full health character. Sorry. All right, Mitsuru. So Mitsuru has been. It's weird how they like. I don't know what this change really means because it was it's cancelable. So it's now cancelable, which means that what does it cancel into? She doesn't have any air special moves. And she could always cancel into JB. Always. So she can do that. So I don't understand JC now being cancelable. The first hit isn't cancelable anymore. Oh. So loops are gone?
That is that was one of the funnest things to do ever. I'm really sad that they took that away. I'm really sad. By no means does this mean the character's bad now. But she was freaking so much fun with those loops. Those loops were literally I lived by the loops and I died by the loops. How am I supposed to have fun now? I love the loops! I loved him like he was my home! Alright. Well. At least Weiss is good. Coop Detroit got buffed. Bigger travel distance. So, more distance extended the active frames on it, so... More time to hit her, her stuff, but decrease the frame advantage. So I don't know if that means that... That probably means that there's some combos out there that are ruined. So, for example... Oh no, no, those, those are, are, are still really good. Okay. Those are still back. Alright, so that means it's decreased on block. Oops. You should block first, girl. Oh yeah, you can punish it now. That's not punishable. Okay. But not if you space it, probably. Oh no, even if you space it. No, no, if you space it correctly, you're fine. For the most part, it's unsafe up close now. Do not use this. Yeah. Completely. However, this got better. So, better frame advantage, which means that you could... I wonder if it's on block or on hit. Now, anyways, okay, more active frames on hit, I guess, there. Decrease the frame advantage. Oh, no, increase the frame advantage, extend the travel distance. Is this full screen now? It's full screen now. All right, great. Uh, same thing with EX. That is, they increase the travel distance. It's not full screen, though. It's three-fourths of the screen, which is great. But B, Coop Detroit, that is full screen. Slow startup, but for the most part, it hits full screen. And... Pretty sure at this distance she can poke you out for free. There's nothing you can do about it. So that's nice. Yeah, that is a free poke for you. Don't press any buttons, but she does this full screen. So, uh, there's that. This did no chip damage, but now it does do chip damage. And same issue with this. Same thing with this. Alright, but definitely the biggest thing... I don't care about any of these. But they nerfed loops. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? I'm like flabbergasted. Oh yes, we gotta nerf all of these JC Lupin mother fifers around here. Maybe it's different routes now. Let's let's think positively, huh? Chat room. Let's think positively. Let's think about how there's nothing positive about this and Mori's a freaky mm, never mind. Stop. Okay, we're fine. Rip Mitsuru. Uh, I guess not rip Mitsuru. Mitsuru's fine. She's still hella good. I think she's still, like, one of the best characters in this game. However, fun factor just went... Alright. Well, Aki... Something was changed with Aki. One change, basically. They extended a hitbox on the sweep um, during Cyclone, uh, the Cyclone combo. His Sway combos. Or his crazy smash shit. So, uh, anyways. Alright, so anyways. Standing J... Increase the damage there, and JA to 1500, I guess. I don't know what it was before. Uh, 2B, enlarge the hitbox when it's uncharged. So they basically made this hitbox larger. Anyways, no, nonetheless. All right, so that, more, more, uh, bigger hitbox on that, which makes it a more viable anti-air. Uh, let's see, smart combo for the 4AA, third hit. That's extended hitbox downward. I can see that sometimes that might whiff on certain opponents or in certain situations, so that's nice. They made it more consistent. Heavenly Spear changed the act attack attribute from projectile to body attribute because if Rachel went up to her and did a 5A, that would be com that would just be nullified completely. Uh, so they changed it to a body attribute, so they can body Rachel when she runs up to them in 5As. There's that. Um, let's see. Radical Cannon reduced the projectile's wall bounce. Uh, back distance in the corner. What is the radical cannon? Is that the EX um, crazy thing? Reduce the wall, projectile's wall bounce back in the distance in the corner. 
Oh, okay. So that's just this. <laughs> so I guess it hits more consistent. That's pretty cool. That's probably really good for like Oki. It's probably really good for Oki, dude. Goddess Shield. So I guess that's her, her super. This right here. It's a body attribute now instead of a projectile. Uh, normal throw, reduce blowback, make it easier to follow up with normal attacks. Nice, good stuff. And neutral partner skill and reduce the blowback of the first hit. So it makes it a little bit more consistent to hit that that assist. And 6P, same buff that they gave to... That's pretty good. That's not, that's not bad. That's definitely a lot better. It's still practically the, like, it's used the same, but I guess you can make much more use for it. Especially in the corner. And the corner is pretty nice for Oki. Uh, so yeah, they buff Labrys. And pretty nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Labrys, they didn't really change her up at all. They just fixed an issue with a collision box, disappeared when blocked. Uh, nothing to just some normalization, so nothing too spectacular. Now moving on to Undernights.